Well, what's up guys, Mark here from VIP Shop Management. Today I'm gonna to talk about uh, uh, images and uh, pictures uh, that you can add to an invoices or to your, uh, to, a, to like a vehicle profile. And the second thing I wanna talk about, uh, cover labor cost, uh, something that we never uh, had in the fourth generation, even fifth generation till right now. And um, Let's check it out. Let's start with the images real quick. So the images are really cool. Um, what's cool about it is I can have images for any car. I can have up to five images. And um, uh, just to see how the car looks like, you can have uh, pictures from every, all the way around. Uh, obviously, you're not going to do that for every single car. Uh, it depends how disciplined you are. And uh, it's really important because uh, once in a while you get you have one of those customers that he's gonna tell you the car was scratched and stuff like that uh, so you can take picture or the car is dented and was dent was never dented before uh, you can do that uh, not just that you can uh, you can add an image uh, to an, a certain invoice uh, so keep that in mind so let's say we sold his tires need to be replaced and he doesn't want to replace the tires or let's say the control arm is ready to fall off and he doesn't care uh, you can add attach images uh, to certain invoice and it's always going to be there. So it's really cool um, I want to talk about and it's always like if you click on it's right there uh, You can have uh, up to six uh, five images too. So a total of ten images for any vehicle um, Let's talk about um, uh, labor cost i get this a lot uh labor cost literally at first when somebody told me about why why you don't have labor costs and i was like what are you talking about labor costs uh, uh he's like the tax pay and i was like i pay my uh, the, when i had when i had a shop i used to pay my uh, my technicians uh, like weekly salary weekly and uh, so it didn't really matter to me that uh, adding uh the, the labor cost so labor cost if you're paying your uh, employees uh, an hourly by the job like let's say uh, he did an alignment and who did it let's say Andrew did it um, um, and we, we added Andrew now we want to would like to see how much is really costing us that's why labor cost comes in handy in this case uh, so let's say we have a job um, sorry let's say we have um, an alternator job to and um, let's say Sam did the job here. So we have two technicians right here, and uh, our total is uh, 454. Uh, now, if you look at uh, at uh, profit, it's 51 percent. And if we click on it, uh, you can see you're gonna see your labor cost right there, which is basically how much your technician, how much you gotta pay your technician out of this job if you set your labor, um, if you set your uh, uh, tech rates. Um, so if you want to if you want to use it uh, make sure when you go to Manage techs and under technician right here and make sure you add the hourly rate uh, for your technician for each technician uh, If you don't want to use that that one uh, make sure That it's uh, the hourly rate is zero so that way it stays zero and it doesn't affect anything uh, so it's kind of really cool if you do pay your technicians uh, by the hour and by the job basically um, You just click on it here and see how much it's costing so your net profit obviously change Because you have a labor cost right now and it's gonna be your net profit after Even you paying your tag uh, your, your technicians um, uh, If you go to your reports right here and go to the daily reports so the labor cost is going to be there too again and uh, so your net profit obviously changed too um, uh, which is starting from uh, today going on we already had it in the VIP fifth generation uh, place for it we just never implemented it till today and uh, it's implemented right now so labor cost is right there um, obviously you still can we, 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 we always had the labor cost uh, from here it just we never had it in the daily report uh, I don't think it prints yet but we'll, we'll, we'll make sure it prints pretty soon um, what else I want to talk about one more thing I want to talk about is if you have an invoice right here and uh, somehow or for whatever reason uh, Let's say the customer canceled on you, but you want to keep it instead of voiding it. 
uh, you can convert it back to original estimate. So you have this option right here, uh, just click uh, uh, convert selected invoice. We had this option before on the fourth generation. Uh, we never needed it actually on the fifth generation because you can edit the invoice in the fifth generation. But there are certain situations where this will still come in handy. So we added it back. Uh, now it comes back in here. Um, even if you have under fleet account, you can do that too, which is comes in handy too. Uh, let me talk about that real quick. So assume we have we had a fleet account and uh, and we send it to the fleet account. This one comes in handy, by the way. My God, if you implement the enforced mileage, you'll never ever <laughs> not add a mileage. So it does work. Um, so let's say we have, we're gonna go to our fleet accounts. And for whatever reason, I was like, oh man, I wanna take it off here. Uh, before you only had the option is to void it. Now you can convert to original estimate. And when you do so, what happened is gonna update the fleet account, take it off the fleet account and bring it back right here where you can do whatever you want with it from there. Um, uh, is VIP shop management the ultimate uh, shop management uh, system in, uh, uh, in the United States? Um, yes, there is for one reason. Uh, the number one reason is the cost. Um, uh, if you're paying $350 a month, literally you're it, it's a it's a problem man. it's a problem right now um, I don't know where we heading with the economy and I don't know where we going um, it's scary for sure uh, I don't know uh, I hope I'm wrong and nothing happened and everything goes smooth but my issue is not just in the United States um, I'm feeling the pain uh, I know people outside the United States and they're hurting uh, because of the pandemic um, in the United States, the government keep pumping money to the, to the public just to make sure everything keep going smoothly. Uh, it's pretty rough out there, man. The people are hurting all over Euro Europe, um, Australia, um, Asia, everywhere. They're hurting because of the pandemic. Um, uh, it's a global problem. And all I'm saying is just to be on the safe side we should be looking into our expenses uh, just to make sure everything is i don't know just to make sure nothing happens and i pray and i hope nothing happens um, uh, but i don't understand like it doesn't make any sense uh, not to be worried like i hate to be worried and but at the same time um, you gotta be like a little bit awake and and that's what I say. I mean, I feel bad for ever paying three hundred fifty dollars a month, and when you're selling less than a million dollar a year, it's a problem. It's a problem, man. That's a three thousand dollars or four thousand dollars you're missing. We don't like, listen. If you're making one, if you're selling less than a million dollar and you paying anybody a hundred or three hundred dollars a month, it's a big mistake, man. It's a big mistake. Um, I would definitely adjust. Uh, me personally, I already started just adjusting my bills a little bit any bill that i don't need to pay i don't want it anymore um i just want to adjust just to make sure because we really really right now don't know where we heading and again i pray and i hope nothing really happened what i mean by that our economy keep going up not start going down um, but it just um just hard not to be prepared like it's it, i feel like it's stupid not to be prepared just in case uh because where we had it it doesn't add up this the math when the math does not add up it's a problem the math does not add up anymore not just in the united states it's across the country the whole world the math doesn't add up uh, there's people sitting at home there's giant companies are hurting and how long they can be hurting and the problem once of these once these giant companies bankrupt i'm not talking the united states at least they have so many options in the united states to get a loan and stuff outside the united states the, these options doesn't exist uh, which mean that if you don't have money you're out of business and if you're out of business there's so many people going to be laid off it's a problem it's a problem i hope this whole pandemic uh, leave us alone 
and I hope the whole world recovers and forever who's hurting uh, I feel their pain uh, it's like some people literally are hurting like poverty hurting uh, all, over, all over the world I know in Lebanon they're hurting badly badly uh, the economy is being nuts since what happened I understand Lebanon has their extra uh, problems but still uh, and then I heard I was uh, listening to somebody in Australia they having the same issues in Europe having the same issues uh, when people don't work it's a problem literally it's a problem it's a scary problem uh, it scares me and I'm the guy who doesn't uh, literally I'm not scared of anything but uh, I understand I'm not stupid at the same time I understand when people not working um, it's a problem because the only way human race uh, not just move up and stay out of evil actions is by staying busy and working and if that option is not there uh, usually like uh, poverty and hate and comes with it so they just all pray and and hope for the best and hopefully the the first step that needed to be done we're hoping that vaccine really works um so the world can get back to work as soon as possible not just the united states the whole world can get back to work as soon as possible anyway i appreciate you guys until next time thanks for watching